Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, your friendly neighborhood consultant, writer, and occasionally web designer. I started out as one, and that is important today because everyone wants to know the web designer's opinion of NFT. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Not doing that. Don't worry. No, um, we're, I'm here, obviously, if you've read the title of the video, to show you how to create a simple, free portfolio website in five to ten minutes or less depending on if you have everything set up. If you're a photographer or a logo designer or any kind of designer or artist, setting up a portfolio doesn't have to be hard. It can be quick, easy, and yes, I'm gonna say it again, free. At least, for starters. Now, for our free portfolio websites, we like to use Wix. What is Wix? It's a website builder. It lets you drag and drop things around on the page and just design your website that way, quick and easy. We love Wix because it has a huge sort of feature to value ratio. You get an absolute ton of features for a, a pretty reasonable price, I'd say. A lot of marketing features and business features and, of course, easy design features. It also has a huge selection of templates to start from, some 500 plus templates, and they're all available for free, and in general, it has a lot of room to grow. Uh, whatever you want to do with your business, as long as you don't need like an enterprise solution or a custom built solution like an app, then Wix will do the job just fine, fantastically even, and will help you market your website, which is very useful. All right, so before we dive in, please do check the links in the description down below. There will be a link to the full review of Wix, everything it can do, all of its major features, and, you know, a more in-depth analysis of all of that, and you can see why it's our favorite here at Website Planet. And let's get into it. So, once you log in or create your account, you're going to see this dashboard. You just need an email and a password, or you can log in with Google. It's fine. Now, you probably won't have a few websites here, so just click Create New Site. And you'll be asked a few questions that will help us get the site up and running fast. So, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to choose Wix. Editor X is for basically professional web designers who want to design websites quickly but don't want to bother so much with the code, but you do need to know the code. A Wix is the no-code version, it's just for good stuff. We're going to say portfolio, Can maybe, uh, today I'm making a photography portfolio. There we go. And that's going to uh, help us set things up uh, a lot, very quickly. Uh, we don't want chat, but maybe let's schedule bookings on the website. And let's add a blog and forms. And if you had an Instagram feed, you could add that. These are all features you can add to your website quickly and easily. We don't need most of them. And now this question. Do you want to let Wix create a website for you automatically with its AI features? which um, can get you started very quickly. It's actually a pretty good option if you just, uh, if you don't want to design it yourself, if you just want to go and have a website. But today I'm going to show you some of the features about around creating websites and designing them. So we're cho choosing to create our own or edit a, edit a template. Now we've got lots of photography templates. I'm just going to pick this one because I've chosen a street photography uh, theme and this looks just about right for me. Now the photos I'm using have all been gotten for free from Unsplash because I am uh, I am rusty as heck with my photography. I haven't taken pictures in them forever. So it takes a couple seconds as you can see to generate the website but here it is. You can change this. You can change the whole design. So I'm going to add some content real quick. Let's, let's add an about us strip. So we'll do that. We're going to change the background image actually. And this is actually really easy to do. Now you can grab a bunch of free background images and stock photography from Wix. I don't want to do that. I want to upload my own. So I'm just going to drag and drop some pre-arranged files over. We have a lot of very nice photos, mostly in portrait. Ah, there we go. There's something in landscape. Landscape is good for backgrounds, at least on desktop. We're going to change the background. 
And oh, that looks good. But that logo, it looks a little thin, honestly, and it's not the logo I want. I, I designed my own. <laughs> well, so we're just going to get rid of that, which was basically just text anyway. I can just select things. I'm just hitting the delete button and they're going away. It's that easy. So we're just going to add a logo really quick. We just use the add image and go to my uploads. And we didn't upload the logo yet, so let's do that. And there we go, the logo I made. It is awesome, can't you tell? And we can actually sort of dim the page background a little, which we might want to do. Uh, we can change the color behind the image to black and then lower the image opacity. That's one way to do it. And that dims the image a little so that our logo is more easily visible. And we've got an about us paragraph, for example. So now let's add a contact form. Make things quick and easy. I'm just gonna put the contact form down here below the other, the rest of the design. I'm going to stretch out the background. And boom, now people can contact us right from the home page. It's great. If when you want to manage pages, you can come up here to this menu and just click manage pages. And I already have a contact form on the home page. I don't need a contact page, so we're just going to delete that. Now let's take a look at the portfolio page real quick. Now the portfolio page has this nice image gallery, which is great, but it's not the photos we want. It's not the photos I uploaded earlier. So we're just going to delete all the photos from this gallery. And we're going to add images. Just, you know, shift and click like you would normally would on any operating system. And boom, all of the pictures I uploaded are now a part of my portfolio. Let's change the logo on this header as well. And this should change the logo across the entire website. Let's add the image again. Now, wherever you want to put an image, you have to make sure that like the box you're putting it in is big enough for the image. Otherwise, it just won't go in. That's a hot tip for you. And there we go. Now let's go look at another page. Let's go look at the bookings page, for example. And it gives you options for what kind of bookings you want. You can manage the services that you can offer via booking through this interface right here. This is an add-on or a Wix app, and I'll show you how to add more of those later if you want to. And you can just manage what kind of appointments you want people to be able to book via the website. You can change the class or, you know, you can change it to an appointment, a class or a course. You can define what, how much time you want to spend on each appointment, uh, pricing plans, all of that good stuff. We're going to leave that as is. And you can even customize the pages that are used for things like the actual checking out process. Now, it takes a second to load sometimes, but you can change the design of, you know, all of this dynamically generated stuff. So that makes it really simple to create a booking website. Now. That's all well and good, but you're thinking, okay, uh, the, the photos are good and the uh, functionality is great, but what if I want to change some of the colors or some of the fonts? That is super easy stuff. What you want is this little tool here called Site Design. So you can see it uses some blues here and whatnot. Let's say, let's say you don't want that to be blue, you want some more retro themes that look good aren't too bright, too colorful. You can just click on a different color theme and you're good to go. Let's go back to the welcome page. And uh, some of these custom elements, uh, like this strip I added, won't automatically be changed. That is something uh, you will have to edit manually. But most of the main colors for the website, let's go to the portfolio, for example, and you'll see that uh, sort of faded dark blue in use there, you know, in the links and so on. Sometimes different templates have quirks. That's something that just should be noted. We can change it and again, and there you go. You get some purple there. And if we go back to the, say, bookings checkout page, we should see that purple in the buttons. There you go. Now, what about 
uh, page backgrounds. You can change that. You can change the uh, to a photo. You can change uh, colors. Uh, we generally want to keep colors light on a theme like this, so we're just not we're just not going to do that. And you can also change the text theme. So normally this uses a sort of light, thin text, but what if you want a thicker text on some of this stuff? Well, you can change and use some of these automatically created text, these pre-created text themes. Then you have to reload the page sometimes, and then you can see the thicker text used everywhere. And that's how easy it is to customize the entire brand of your site to match your business and your branding guidelines, if you have any. Rearranging layouts is literally a matter of clicking and dragging on things where you want them to be. That sort of freedom does occasionally lend itself to making mistakes, but you can just hit Control Z or the undo button and you're good to go, just like any other proper app. Now, before we go on, I want to show you the App Store, which is actually a super important part of Wix. It's how you extend your site's functionality. So I, at first we're going to create a new page. And we're going to create a general page with a simple template, say this one. And now let's add an app and show you what those are all about. So Wix apps are huge. Uh, you've got uh, more complex form builders than what you could get with regular Wix. You could add Google search ads. You can add the e-commerce stores. This is, yes, the stores are technically an app and so is the blogging functionality. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to add this time. Uh, some app, there are apps for everything, for shipping, for marketing, for uh, social media in, um, integration. There are just tons and tons of options. But we're just going to show you the blog real quick, the Wix blog, because it's a free app. Some of them are free. Some of them will need to be paid for. For example, if you want to add a store, you will need to pay for a proper paid plan on Wix because you can't take payments unless you're paying for Wix. You can't take any kind of payment on the free site. So that booking app I showed you earlier, you would need to, if, if you want to allow people to book free appointments, that's fine. You can do that. But to take paid appointments, you would need to sign up for one of the more expensive Wix plans. Now, we've got a few pre-designed blog posts here. What we, you, we can do a lot of things. We can manage the posts themselves. Wix provides a simple blog editor. And let me show you what that editor looks like. It's a quick and easy what you see is what you get kind of thing. All those typos, they didn't happen, all right? And I've just updated the post with some hello world text. You can also customize how the blog posts look. Now, normally they look like this, but you can choose to display or not display some things. For example, we can take off the author name, the published date if you want, the amount of time it takes to read, estimated. And I would honestly take off the views counter. You can also customize the layout. So we can give it that editorial feel, the tiled uh, design, the magazine style design. Full, you can put full posts one after the other, classic blog style. And of course you can do like a one column preview of all posts. If you don't want to see the logo or the navigation over your beautiful design here, you can customize the header design, it's doable. You just you'd use this little menu to change what you want, and it'll work just fine. Again, I should reiterate that some of the apps are free, some are paid, and the same is true of Wix features in general. For example, if you want to attach a custom domain name to your website, normally your website will be at something like yourusername.wixsite.com slash my site, or whatever you called it. For example, here it is at that URL, and this is the preview. All right. Now, the pricing for Wix is fairly reasonable, I'd say. It's not the cheapest website builder out there, but neither is it the most expensive. And for the sheer huge amount of features you can access, especially on the higher end plans, I think it's totally worth it. For anyone who just wants to click and drag their web de website design around or even have the app build the whole website for them. Now, a couple of tips for building your website. 
it, to make the whole process go faster, have a plan. Have a plan for how you want your site to work, what you want it to say, what you want it to do, what you want customers to be able to do when they get there. If you want them to sign up for a newsletter, uh, book an appointment, buy a product to directly from you, design your whole site with that purpose in mind. Also, something that can speed up the process a lot, have your content, that is your text, and all of your images ready beforehand. Have them prepared, ready to upload or copy and paste in. That will make things go so much faster and you can technically get a site up and running in 5 to 10 minutes. And remember to check out the full review linked in the description. There's a lot more information there that will help you decide whether or not Wix is the right site builder for you. Also linked down below will be our coupon page, so you can get a pretty hefty discount sometimes on Wix or any of the other major site builders. If you plan to pay for a year or more in advance, that can actually come to quite a big discount. All right, again, if you found this video helpful, if it was useful to you, please do like, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. I hope you had a good time. I had a fun time making this video. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.